Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone. My name is Lumen and right now we're going to jump back into some rank play and this time around we're going to be using the Demon Handlock. I am terrified of playing this deck. I just played a game or two with it right now and I, I lost a game or two with it right now. <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest. I have no idea what I'm doing but I guess that makes it exciting, right? It makes it a little bit maybe a little bit frustrating for you guys who are watching but whatever. Okay. Uh, I gotta learn how to play it at some point. Why not at rank 5? Or 6? I'm 6 now because I lost twice in a row. I just don't always know when's the right time to like tap and hold back. When's the right time to throw everything I got out there. I, I struggle. I struggle. This is a difficult deck to play. It's not the style that I'm used to. It's not the kind of thing that I, I play regularly. Now, funny enough... I can't even remember the last time I played against a mech mage or a tempo mage. I'm just constantly, for some reason, playing against freeze mages. There's just freeze mages and echo giant mages and all that crap all over the ladder. And I, I don't like it. I don't like it. So, f for this game, I'd actually like to play against something like a tempo mage or a mech mage. Up. Sick. Online. I think I have to sh I have to dot bomb that. It delays my giant by a turn. That also, in many ways, I guess, doesn't give anything away. Like I, I haven't showed him what I'm playing yet. I will, obviously. Oh, this is great! Wow, I will obviously give it away the second I tap. Yeah, I do this. That's incredibly lucky, by the way. Done. Just the way that worked out now, because it means that at least I got a, a couple of cards in my hand. I still don't really get to play this when I wanted to, which was on turn four. But I got a couple of cards here. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, look, there's no real reason to play the Void Call. I think that this is a better play. Now, we, we're looking at two, four, six, seven cards. That's terrible. But we have to get something out there, so here we go. Nice thing about that is it's just out of range of fireball. If he fireballs it, then he'd have to put one of these two on it as well. Something needs tinkering. I do, fortunately enough, have this combination. Why is he whoops in? Dude, do you not know how this works already? Oh, you know, I'm kind of tempted to just... Shadow Flame, but I know how mech mages work, and I know that this roadblock is probably going to be more than enough. Thing is, I want that out. I want the Void Caller out there so I can get Malkanis up, but I think that it makes more sense just doing this. Shields up. That was a mistake. <laughs> I, have, I have to counter his whoops. He's got a hefty board. These decks, they don't generally run much. Oh my god, this was a lucky draw. Okay, they don't run much that can deal with big taunt walls. That is not going to deal with my big taunt wall. I'll tell you why in just a second, because I think I'm going to Shadow Flame. Okay, and... Then I might even, like, do I Mortal Quad? This is, this is crazy. I think I Shadow Flame... This one right here. It deals with those three, leaves this on four if he attacks into my Twilight Drake. It just dies. And then that's that threat out of the way, yeah? But I, I do think I need Shadow Flame here because he's going to bust through my Taunt Wall. Mm. So, we Shadow Flame. Almost out of time. Damn, I really want... Like, really want to play this right now, but I think that it's it's better saved. I got this. Would it have been better putting that on there? Just trading in? Thing is, I'm not too scared of silence. Just don't... Yeah, okay, that, that happens, fine. But... Oh god, wait, am I in trouble now? No, I'm not in trouble. 
I'm, of course I'm not in trouble. I mean, I can just play this. And... I mean, he's going to have to attack me so many more times then. Uh, there, are, there are other options, obviously. Yeah, and then the, and then the, the antique heal bot plus the mortal coil will deal with it. Now, I don't get to tap because that's dangerous. Uh, I can fix anything. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I'm in, a, I'm in an amazing position here. Am I not? If I draw a Molten or something, or any Taunt Giver now, then I think I'm much better. Oh man, that's not great. Uh, I think I might just burn him out. There goes the other Fel Reaver. Running the program. Hug. Wow. Tough spot for him to be in. Uh, hmm. Interesting. I'm also in a pretty bad spot. I think I need to put this down now. So if I put this down and I kill this I one, this. then he's just got that out and I think I'm okay. The reason I didn't kill the Annoyotron is because he could just play another mech. You know, like, it's it's tough. Now, my game plan is actually just to get Melganus out. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that, though. I can play him. <laughs> I can play... Oh, oh, I can just attack him there. Right. Okay. Fine. Fine. Uh, so. Four. Five, six. Seven, eight. I got a six series of plays here, so if I put this down here, then we've got three and four, and we can kill Dr. Boom, get Malganus out, uh, silence one of the Boom bots. I wonder. My seal for Argon. Well played. To the void. He doesn't know how well played just yet. That's that's good, right? <laughs> I'm still sitting with a stupid mountain giant here. Oh god. Wait, wait. Has he put that on Malganus? No, okay, so there's a bit of luck involved here. There's actually more than just a bit. Yeah, that's good, that's good. He's got a fireball in hand. This is not great. You can't go you can't go face! <laughs> He's like, what do? What, what do? <laughs> Damn it. He's actually still trying to go face. Oh man. This is glorious. This is amazing to behold. Okay, I get to tap for free. Uh, at this point, I gotta do it. Oh my god. So how much do I want? Five? Oh, I do a lot, a lot. I wanted a lot. Now, wait, hold on. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is so tough. Uh, I, Thorasan, no value. Mount Giant, pointless. So I do this, and then I charge this and the little I one wonder. into his Antonidas. Then he has to put the fireball in his hand on Malganus, and I've still got the Mountain Giant, uh, the Molten Giant up. I think that's the play. Oh, I got I don't even know Melganus gives it <laughs> Crap! I'm so bad at this game! Oh my god, I didn't know, I did not know! That was- did I miss lethal? No, I did- oh. I did not miss lethal. Like, if I had missed lethal, that would have been- 
wasteful. Okay, that's ter- wow, I'm sorry. Give me something good, give me something, give me a- Uh, something good, please. God, he can still win this. This guy can still win this on the back of these- these things. Uh, he can't. He can't win this anymore. He needs to top deck two cards, and he can only top deck one card, because that's how this game works. Okay, so... Man, even though I messed up there, and I didn't even wait to see my minion being buffed up... I still won. That's all that- that's all that matters. That's it. <laughs> that was stressful. <laughs> Fun. Fun, but stressful. I don't like this style of play all that much. I'm not good at it. I mean, I can still kind of wrap my head around Freeze Mage, but this... This... Gul'dan versus Garrosh! Ego Lash. Victory Is it a patron? Your soul shall be mine! I think I get rid of that. And how many Mortal Coil targets do we have in Warrior? None. I think we get rid of that as well. Part of me wants to say, like, that's the perfect opening hand. I just don't know how many times I'm going to get to tap. It all comes down to how often I get to tap. I think we need to really play chicken here with our life total and, and try and get the two mountain giants out. And then by the time they're both out, maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get the molten out as well before we die. You know, going first just seems so much better though, doesn't it? Because this coin. What what is this coin? Armor up. Click it. Sick. So we're assuming this is a control warrior. Uh and we on two, four, six, eight, nine. Means I'll draw into another one. How much do I want to Twilight Drake out? Thing is, I I go for Twilight Drake now, then in the next turn I'm sitting without a play. This is the same situation I was in before. I think I pass. Death Spite? Oh! Wow. It's not very much going for him right now. Uh, the, the most terrifying thing is the fact that he's got six armor, but... I mean, we've got so many threats in our hand already, that I do think... You know what? I think maybe we toss the, the Drake out now, because it uses our, our four mana exactly, and then in the next turn we throw down the Giant. And it also comes out as a 10. Warriors don't run any form of silence. Uh, that's a tool to, uh, okay, now we can Owl and Giant, right? This would be great. Oh, yes, we can. Well, Giant and then Owl. Now, wait. How much do I actually want that silenced? I ask myself that question before I waste my silence here. Other silence targets are big fat legendaries, which in most cases don't really need to be silenced. Instead, they need to be killed. So I think we silence it. Uh, the question is, however, is it worth attacking into it? Or would I rather want to reduce his armor down to two? This is tough. Because... Uh, you know, now I, if I do this, I set it up for like a, an execute or something. Oh, let's, let's do this. Uh, the reason I, I like attacking it rather instead of not is because I do have Mortal Coils in the deck and the Mortal Coils kind of get some value off that. So now he... I like seeing the executes gone early on. Honestly, that's great. And this, I mean, I'm still going to get value out of Mortal Coil if I pick it up.
And this guy is doing good damage, so we're gonna attack there. Uh, the question now is just whether I want to put... I think the Mountain Giant needs to go down again. Because this is the last one that needs more, like, lots of cards in my hand. So it's either that or I coin out Boom. I don't like coining out Boom because, uh, unfortunately, it plays directly into Brawl. So if he brawls just the one giant, that's okay. We'd rather go for Boom on Curve. It's fine. It's fine. And I think we, we tap, right? It's two, four. Two, four. Yeah, that's not... <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to count. Uh... So good. Man, oh man, oh man. I'm some other professional demon handlock player right here. That's me. That's me. Don't believe him. So Death's Bite, uh, 2 and 7, he could play Dr. Boom. I mean, I'm sitting here ready and waiting. I need to get this out in the next turn, so I, I think I need to commit to getting the Void Call out because... Well, no, the thing is... Jiraxxus, I think it's kind of good against Control Warrior, I think, because... If I can get Taunters up then, which I probably can, then the 15 health is really a problem. Ah! What is that now? <laughs> this is tough. Uh, I won. I tap, right? I tap and look for an owl or a dark bomb. That's how it's done, boys. That's how it's done. Uh, then, the the best play here is to go with this. No, if he's playing the, the patron, then I'd rather go with this, because I'd rather want that a little higher, and then I can more than quell that. I don't know, I don't know. I feel like I'm lucking my way through this. <laughs> I knew that there were a couple of answers uh, to deal with the patron, and I did not know this was a patron deck. I had no idea. Like, why the hell has he got a sludge belcher in there? That changes everything. There are no big, fat, late game legendaries coming at me. I can start just killing this guy right now. I think I will. So. Okay, we have to obviously be scared of the frothing combo, but if I get two really big taunters out, uh... So here's my play. Possibilities. Wait, 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 wait. If I put that down... No, I need to go boom. Like, boom needs... No, wait, 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 wait. From the void I come. We put that there. My seal for Argon! Because I don't think he's running a... I mean, I don't think he's, he's holding another Execute. He, he surely would have used it on the Mountain Giant before. So... Do we think he's running a Brawl? I, I think it's unlikely. He can't run all these cards and then still fit enough uh, good effects in, good activators in to make Patron work. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that all about now? Okay, Battle Rage. Fine, fine, fine. Like... He's sitting on six cards now. Two mana left. What's he gonna do with two? That's his other execute. Good. Does he kill this? That's a risk, man. That's a risk, and he's afraid. He's trying to get through the taunt. That's what he's trying to do. I think we got him. Uh, do I have lethal? That's four, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, six, eleven. I'm damn close to lethal but I think the best play is just to get uh... so I can't I can't get that out so we're gonna go for Dr. Boom because he might just he might just kill himself <laughs> oh, 
Shields up. I mean, any whirlwind effects now would be pretty detrimental to his health. I'd like to say. Oh, and that's a bit late. Yeah. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Well, it's like a one in three chance to get what I want, which is this. <laughs> oh, I'm taunting that one up as soon as I can. What now? He's used both his executes. This is too sick. Oh, this is this is disgusting. Sorry. <laughs> oh, patron, patron. How I love you. But not actually. I mean, that guy got kind of unlucky. He didn't pick up his combo cards. Anyway, I'm done. You can check back here soon for more ranked play. Give that one a like. Share it and do all that good stuff. By that one, I mean this one. <laughs> I can't believe I won. Did I? Did I just do that? Two games in a row. I mean, I lost two in a row before I started recording, so I guess it's kind of a give and take situation. Anyway, let me know. You know how you think that went. Tell tell me what my misplays were, because I mean, I really don't understand the intricacies of handlock all that well just yet. But I think I made a couple of plays that, at least at the time, made sense. Anyway, let me know what you think. Do you play handlock? Do you prefer the control style of play? I don't know, I'm more of a mid-range man myself. I like aggro as well. I like control, but I just haven't found the control deck for me yet. Anyway. Happy that.